Hey everybody, it's Jackie. I just thought I would make a video to uh, talk about a topic that has been on my mind for a couple days and I just want to put it out there for my fellow moms who feel at times they cannot do certain things because they need to tend to their children or something might happen to their children. They don't make trips for themselves or buy something that they'll want because, you know, the kids may need this later and then I've done this for myself and they feel guilty um, about not being able, the possibility of not being able to do things for their children later. This is an issue that has boggled my mind for the past couple years, it really bogged me down in many cases. Um, as most of you probably already know, my son has some serious medical issues, and he's had them since he was born, and he's almost four years old now. So it seems like for the past few years, um, if I have taken any trips, they are more so along the lines of visiting family in Chicago. And if I am visiting my family in Chicago, I'm planning to take him with me. Um, there were two times that I planned to take him that something actually happened. He got sick the day of or the day before, and I was not able to take him. However, he does have a very wonderful father who managed to step in and just say, you should go without him, and I'll take care of him. Um, so those were breaks that I was able to have. However, I would never have planned, um, I would say, um, Previously, I would have never planned a big trip, like anywhere across the country or to visit girlfriends and just have a ball. That's not something that I would do, um, you know, keeping him in mind, thinking maybe something will happen while I'm gone. Um, what if he gets sick and I'm not around? He needs his mama. Well, uh, I'm very happy to say I have matured out of that frame of mind, and uh, I just want to put this message out for the moms that have not. Um, I know you want to be around for everything that goes on with your children, but in reality, you can't be. And when they go to school, they might fall off the monkey bars. And when they get in a the car, they might hit a stop sign. You know, you, you don't know what's going to happen. So because of that and in that light, you have to do more things for yourself. So what am I doing for myself, you ask? I'll tell you. I'm going to San Diego next week. Woot, woot. Cali. I'm going to California. I have never been to California, but I'm very excited because I'm going to the Empower Network conference, and there's going to be thousands of people there. My friend Nikki lives there with her husband and her newborn baby, um, little Blake, so I'm going to see them, and I'll probably stay with them a day or two um, just to take a break from the conference. So I'll get some family time in. Then I will get to probably visit with my friend Voltaire and, you know, hopefully his wife and his son. I'll get to meet um, his son, who I think is just a few months, several months old, maybe six to eight, somewhere between there. Um, I want to see them, so hopefully I get to see them when I'm there. And I'll get to kick it with all my Empower Network buddies. Um, I'm so excited. I'm just really looking forward to it. So, you know, it's so funny because I mentioned to a couple of my friends that I was going to California, and someone actually said, well, what is, who is Karan going to be with when you're gone? And I'm thinking, his father. Who else? His father is fully capable of taking care of him. So, you know, dad can have him for four days. Mom's off duty. Um... And, you know, we have this thing where usually, like, if I, you know, disappear for a couple days, I usually let him know or I go out of town. That's what I mean by disappear. But if I go out of town for a couple days, I usually let Courtney know, hey, um, don't call me unless it's an emergency. If somebody's bleeding, somebody needs to go to the emergency room, call me. But he, he won't call me unless it's really, really a dire emergency. So I hope to get none of those phone calls while I'm gone. I'm extra geeked and charged up for this trip. I am going to D.C. the next weekend for a good friend's wedding. I haven't been able to attend weddings for the past couple of years um, because I've made my son the total number one priority. And there were things going on um, when these weddings were happening and trips that we were scheduling for our son to have medical appointments. It really conflicted. So I wasn't able to do a lot of those leisure things. But, hey, I'm going two weeks in a row, two weekends in a row. I'm going to Cali, and then I'm going to Washington, D.C. I'm going to live it up like it's 1999. I'm so geeked. I got my little outfits ready. And, um, 
you know, when I come back, I'm sure Karan will be very grateful that his mother took a break because then I won't be quite so abrasive uh, with him at home. Uh, he drives me freaking nuts, especially when he takes his underwear off and whips it across the room, uh, whether, I don't know, I don't know why he does that. Probably the joys of having a little boy. Um, so no more underwear in my plants for a couple days because he puts underwear in the plants. And um, no more finding half a roll of toilet paper in my toilet for four days. So that's a break. I am looking forward to the mental vacation that I will get to take. And I just want to, you know, leave this message with you. You are a mom, and we know that you can do it all. But you don't have to do it all, all the time. I am taking my break next weekend, and I'm taking another break the next weekend. Leave the babies with Daddy. Leave them with Daddy. Leave them with Grandma. Call some aunties. Call your aunties. Oh, my phone is ringing. Okay, this is Sue Haley. I really want to answer this. Hey, Sue. I'm in the middle of a video. I will call you right back. Okay, bye. So, okay, that was my good friend, Sue Haley, who I love dearly. Um, okay, look, moms, just do it. Pack your stuff, pack your ish, and go on a trip. Just do it. Call your girlfriends. Do whatever you need to do. Book the tickets. Just go, 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 go. Whatever kind of trip you can afford, go to the Marriott downtown. I do that. I do that, like twice a year. I pack a bag, and I call Courtney, and I say, don't call me unless it's an emergency, and I spend one night at a local hotel right outside the city, and I have my little vacation. So... All that to say, just do you, do it, get off the couch, and don't make excuses, okay? Love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.